how sodium chloride is made. Sodium chloride is an ionic compound, and ionic means it's made of ions, or charged atoms, of which there are two types, positively charged metal ions and negatively charged non-metal ions, which attract to make an ionic compound, of which sodium chloride is, made up of two things, the soft grey alkali metal sodium and the yellowy greeny gas chlorine. Sodium is found here in the periodic table, with these symbols, and with our pen model, the positive protons, negative electrons, and neutral neutrons, the proton number is 11, meaning there are 11 protons, and therefore also 11 electrons. So we have this atomic structure, with the 11 positives in the nucleus, and the 11 electrons arranged by 2, 8, 1. But with this one electron on the outer shell, sodium wants to lose one electron. Chlorine is found here on the periodic table, with these symbols. And with our pen model, and knowing the atomic number is 17, there are 17 protons, and therefore 17 electrons. So our atomic structure has 17 positives in the nucleus, and the 17 electrons are arranged by 2, 8, 7. In the outer shell, this gap here means chlorine wants to get one electron. So we have our sodium atom with one electron on the outer shell, which it needs to get rid of, and our chlorine atom with well, its one gap in its shell that it needs to gain an electron. But how do they do this? The sodium atom with its one electron just gives its electron to chlorine, to its gap there, like this. Now it's unstable now, but the charges are now unbalanced. And they are not atoms anymore, but they are ions. We had our sodium atom with 11 protons and 11 electrons arranged as 2, 8, 1. And this electron here was lost, leaving this structure an ion, a sodium ion, with 11 positives but only 10 electrons, meaning there is one extra positive charge, giving the overall ionic charge of 2, 8 plus, which we show by putting brackets around the ion, and a positive in the top corner. So our sodium atom is now a sodium ion with this configuration of 2, 8 plus. The chlorine atom had 17 protons and 17 electrons, arranged as 2, 8, 7, but had a gap in its outer shell. So this gap here is filled with the electron from the sodium, making this a chloride ion with 17 protons and 18 electrons giving it a 1 minus charge, which we write as 288 minus, putting the brackets around the ion, and a negative charge. So our chlorine atom is now a chloride ion, with this configuration of 288 minus. Wow! So we had our sodium atom of this configuration, of 281, and our chlorine atom of this configuration, 287. The sodium atom wanted to lose an electron, and the chlorine atom needed to gain an electron. So the electron moved from the atom to the atom, making a sodium ion of this configuration, of 28 plus, and a chloride ion of this configuration, of 288 minus. That's amazing! So to make sodium chloride, we need a sodium atom and a chlorine atom to make a sodium ion bonded with a chloride ion to make this sodium chloride. But what is the formula for sodium chloride? The symbol for sodium is Na, the symbol for chlorine is Cl, so the symbol for sodium chloride is NaCl, which we can more correctly write as Na plus Cl minus sodium chloride. And we can model sodium chloride with our positive sodium ions and our negative chloride ions making this a cubic crystal. With its strong ionic bonds, the electrostatic charges between the ions acting in all directions, these properties, making sodium chloride, have a very high melting point of over 800 degrees C. Wow! Please do watch our video about allotropes of carbon. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!